everybody's got time for a suit up. But nobody's got time to wait for the new guy to charge up. Yo, 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 you guys. It's that cartoonist back once again. And I need to issue you all an apology. I missed one of my deadlines the other day due to one of, to my computer, the laptop I'm using. It totally bugged out and the fan isn't working within the laptop. So the computer is not really turning on. I sent it into HP. So they are handling it. I literally sent it in today and that was my main workstation. So the videos I put out right now may not be as polished as the ones I've been putting out prior. And that's gonna last for about two to three weeks. If y'all could just bear with me as I'm going through this process. Um, I don't have my laptop, so I gotta try and find other ways to get these videos up and upload it. So um, thank you guys for bearing with me. Thank you for your patience. Sorry I didn't get that other video up. I was really trying and um, I was just trying to see if I could get my computer working the other day and I, I just, that was, that was my last couple of days, just trying to handle that. So th thank you all so much for just hanging in there with me and sticking around. But we're gonna jump into this uh, <laughs> this new episode of Black Lightning Extra Credit, that's what I'm calling this series. And we're gonna be talking about some of the Black Lightning and Black Lightning characters' appearances in different cartoons. There is a show called DC Superhero Girls. I am not ashamed to say I've watched a couple of those episodes they're well written. I, I like the still. I like the show. I'm man enough to say that. But in this particular show, there's an episode that showcases both Anissa and Jennifer. And I thought that was really cool to point out. Like you know, even in some of like the really kitty shows, the kitty cartoons, because they're all like, well, they're all cartoons by definition. But in like a lot of DC's cartoons they're still kind of referencing Black Lightning and other characters. What ends up happening in the episode is Giganta is trying to find her glasses. Cyborg tells her where her glasses are. She gets mad at Cyborg for her for um, him telling her that she gets mad all the time, which she does. And she ends up falling on the power lines, but both Anissa and Jennifer help stop her. Unfortunately, their city is without power and it's up to Thunder and Lightning to save the day. However, most of the heroes only think that Lightning can do it. And Lightning is doubting herself. She doesn't think she can do it by herself. Thunder encourages her sister and they both work together to solve the problem of the city using Lightning. So what does Anissa do but use her patented density control to generate electricity. And Lightning just does her thing by actually literally generating electricity. They save the day and the town is saved and they get honored. And it was really cool to see those two characters in a show like this. I didn't think they would have them in here, but they have so many other DC characters. They have Wonder Woman, they have Beast Boy, they even have Amanda Waller in there. I, I was just kind of like, wow. Um, it's really cool to see both Anissa and Jennifer teaming up, and it kind of gets my blood pumping for when we get the second season of Black Lightning, and Jennifer will probably be donning a new outfit. I, I, I just want to see it, I'm ready for it. You should check this out. You can find this episode on YouTube. Just go ahead and scroll, type in DC Superhero Girls, um, Thunder and Lightning. It'll probably pop up for you. But it's definitely worth you checking out while we're waiting for a second season of uh, Black Lightning. I'm about to say Jefferson Lightning, no, Black Lightning. So again, thank you guys for being so understanding. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for tuning in. See tunes.